Hey, what's going on guys? John the Video Guy here, and today we're going to take a look at how to make a countdown inside Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. So I'm inside After Effects. Let's make a new composition by going to a new composition. Let's say we want a 30 second countdown. We'll make it 30 seconds long. That's fine. You can make it whatever you want. This is just for uh, showing you how to do it. Click OK. All right, first you'll want to make a new solid. The countdown timer will live inside the solid as an effect. So go to Layer, New, Solid. It can be any color. It doesn't really matter because we're going to overlay it with the text effect. And then go to Effect, Effect Text Numbers. This is where you get to decide the font. So if you have a font in mind, you can always change this later. But if you do have a font, this is where you put it in. So say if you want to do Open Sans, Bold. You can also choose Alignment. Click OK. You'll notice that it created numbers and that the effect showed up in the effects controls. Let's mess around with the properties of the effect and then we'll get it going uh, where it needs to be to, in order for it to count down. All right, so the first thing to change is the type. Change it to the timecode of the composition. In this case, timecode 30 works. You can change the fill color. This will change the fill color of the numbers. Then you'll probably want to adjust the size to make it larger. You can also adjust tracking, but first we'll want to uncheck proportional spacing and then increase the tracking accordingly. This is important because if you don't uncheck proportional spacing, it will move um, and you don't want that to happen. You probably want the countdown to just stay in place and it just rolls. So that's important there. Then adjust the size and you can adjust the position. If you scrub forward here, you can see how it plays. So it's playing based on the time code. This is great, but how do we make it count down instead of count up? So what we'll want to do now is make sure it's selected, the solid selected, go to Layer Precompose, move all attributes into the new composition. This is important because we're going to add another effect or a mask actually on top of the composition. We want it to be able to be masked correctly and moved accordingly. Uh, you can rename it Countdown Precomp. So you'll see it made a composition. If we go back to our project window, you'll see that there's a precomp and then the actual countdown. So you want to be in the actual countdown. So the trick to this is to time reverse the precomped layer. So you can left click, go to time. time reverse layer and you can see it starts at 30 seconds and then it counts down and then to finish all off uh, what to do next is to get rid of all the other zeros so what you can do is just drag a mask by going to the rectangle tool voila you have that there you go um, the one thing to keep in mind here though is make sure once you draw that mask that it uh, sometimes if you draw it too short uh, some of the numbers especially the zeros or the wider length it also depends on the font you choose but the wider length numbers will get cut off from the mask so just make sure you scrub through and make sure all of the numbers are being displayed correctly in this case it does so then what you can do is just reposition this accordingly you can move it wherever you want if this is inside another composition and if you design a background this can be however you want it so yeah that's pretty much it how to make a countdown um, this works for anything you can make this larger say if it's minutes or hours uh, keep in mind uh, the longer it is the longer it's going to take to render out so but yeah that's pretty much it i hope this video helped you if you're looking to make a countdown thank you